Welcome to American Foundations. As we discuss the founding principles of this great country, you might be inclined to ask, what does this have to do with me? Or why is this class required? Before I get to those questions, I would like to first kind of give you some details about me, I guess since this is supposed to be an introduction video of myself. But I am from Dallas, Texas. After I graduated from high school, I attended Ricks College. I lived in dorm six that no longer exists, but here I am with my roommates. I am the one wearing a hat. Here's another picture of me at a dance called Morp which I had never heard of until I went to Rick's. Someone actually had to tell me that it was prom spelled backwards. I know, right? We just don't have those in the big D. And here's another picture of my dorm room that I loved. I would like to bring your attention to two features that will really date me. The first one is our rockin' telephone. Back when hashtag really meant the pound sign. Also, we would often jam out to Enya and our very amazing boombox, while the construction crew was building the Taylor Religion Building right next door. Those were truly good times. A little bit later, I served a mission in Chile, Santiago South. This experience was very influential on me, as I realized how culture and language do impact our decisions, or at least the way we think. This experience also gave me a love for my country, as I had an opportunity to live in another country. Shortly after my mission, I met and married my husband, Dan. He was very supportive, as I went back to law school right after I finished my undergrad. One day after I found out that I passed the Texas bar, we found out that we are going to be having twins. Here are our oldest, Joshua and Mia. After Mia, We were lucky enough to have another cute girl named Jeannie. After Jeannie, we were again privileged to have another boy, Joseph. Being a parent has brought more challenges and blessings than I thought possible. Now, let's get back to those questions. like, What does this class have to do with me? Or why is this class required? I'd like to look to Doctrine and Covenants section 82 verses 3 for part of that answer. We learn that for of him unto whom much is given, much is required. Well, that begs the question, what have we been given? This question can be relevant to those who do not even live in this country, but are taking this class because this country has allowed for advances in technology and innovation for this class to even exist. Therefore, what have we been given? I believe the answer comes from something President Benson once said, He said, freedom, as we know it, has been experienced by perhaps less than 1% of the human family. We have been given a life few people will ever know in mortality. As a result, I believe we should try to learn how this wonderful life came to be and upon what principles it was built. By understanding the principles behind the success, we can maintain what we have, and even build greater things upon it. I really look forward to this semester with you.